We're just going to go through a basic uh, Pilates exercise, which is called the roll down. Now again, it's more about sort of spinal awareness. Um, you're sort of coming down this way, flexion of the spine. Um, it's not really like the sort of emphasis of yutasana and yoga. Not there's never anything wrong with that, um, but it's a slightly different emphasis in Pilates. So you're not going to stretch to stretch, if that makes sense. We're just using this as like a release stretch with a bit of spinal awareness as we're doing it. Okay, to so say the main things as you're doing this, zip up pelvic floor, gather in, navel towards the spine and don't force anything. And we're gonna simply breathe with the spine. We're gonna breathe with that primal pattern of the body. So I'm gonna come up here to demonstrate this so you can see it. So again, feet are either slightly wider than hip width apart or even smaller or together. Again, the wider you do it, the easier it's going to be. And the more together the feet are doing, the harder it's going to be. So all we're going to do is just exhale down through the bones, collapsing inwards, dying off, thinking tiny waist, navel towards the spine, especially in this position, so we're flexing over. Okay. Again, knees are straight but not locked. Nice and soft on the knees, breathing coming up, stacking up these vertebras, these Lego bricks, these books, bone by bone, imprinting the back against the imaginary wall, then exhaling down. We'll do this sideways so you can see this. We're going to exhale down through the vertebras, collapsing inwards, dying off, thinking tiny waist, navel towards spine, hanging like a rag doll or wet rag doll, nice and loose, or a wilted flower. Perhaps and inwards dying off, thinking tiny waist, as if there's a little ripcord beyond your belly button, pulling in towards the spine, that magnet on your spine, pulling the belly button in. You're going to breathe in, stacking up the vertebrates, just like Lego bricks or books, being stacked and unstacked, raveling and unraveling, winding and unwinding, exhaling down through the bones. Each vertebras lovely connected to its neighbours and we're just being aware of each vertebra just unravelling and unstacking collapsing inwards dying off thinking tiny waist navel towards spine hanging like a rag doll or a wet rag doll nice and loose or a wilting flower then breathing in coming up like a budding flower or a phoenix rising from the ashes or a bubble rising at the top of the glass Again, if this gets too hot, you can always bend the knees. That's another way of making this slightly easier. Or legs are straight but not locked, nice and soft on the knees, exhaling down through the bones. Collapsing inwards, dying off, thinking tiny waist, navel towards spine, breathing in, coming up like a wave of relaxation. Lovely. Lengthen up for the crown. There's a puppet string, a hook, a brace. Pulling our head up towards the ceiling, then exhaling down through the bones. Just thinking and talking with the bones. Be mentally aware of each vertebra stacking and unstacking, raveling and unraveling, winding and unwinding, wrapping and unwrapping, from one move to the next. Breathing in, coming up. We're simply breathing with a spine. The spine is naturally doing this in everyday life as we breathe. We're just overemphasizing this breathing pattern of the spine, this lovely primal pattern of the body, exhaling down, collapsing inwards, dying off, thinking tiny waist, navel towards spine, breathing in, coming up, just getting lost in the breath, the motion and movement, lovely, that's a lovely spinal awareness exercise which makes you think with the bones. Okay, lovely. Bang.